Hello, good morning friends. It's Kimberly here with Specialty Care Management and Reiki and Coaching. You know, as a nurse, um, I have built my life and my career around one guiding principle. I've all, often been asked what characteristic um, is the most important for me um, in terms of my profession or my career development. And that that characteristic has always been compassion. Nurses are kind of known for being compassionate, wouldn't you agree? How does compassion play out in terms of business, particularly for sales? Compassion, if you think about compassion, there, there's this principle of, of operating from a standpoint of compassion versus transaction, right? So compassion means, or having compassion, dealing with others in a compassionate way means that we put the needs and the interests of others uh, in front of our own. Now, that doesn't mean that we tolerate, um, we're not doormats, right? It doesn't mean that we can't be assertive, and it doesn't mean that we can't um, move forward in an opportunity. But what it means is we're never going to put our self-interest above another person, right? Where we're going to serve ourselves at the other's expense, Right? Compassion is super important, particularly in business, in your relationships, uh, whether they're personal or, or business relationships, operating and developing this character trait of compassion will magnetize the very accounts that you're looking to, to attract. Compassion means that you will do the work required to make sure that you're competent that you're knowledgeable, that you bring your expertise, and that you're not afraid to do the hard work of serving others, right? That always attracts um, success to yourself in business and in your personal relationships. Interestingly, compassion, developing this trait and bringing it every day is just a part of who you are. Also, many studies have shown that this developing this quality enhances one's satisfaction with life, their job satisfaction. It increases your stamina, your ability to go the extra mile. It gives you energy. It feels good, right? It feels good for the other person. It develops trust. And I'm here to tell you, I think that's the that's the next revolution. That's the revolution that we're in right now in our healthcare industry. Wouldn't it be amazing if all of us operated with impeccable integrity and compassion for each other? Think of what we could do. Fraud would disappear. Imagine that. Fraud, waste, and abuse. That would be like, what the heck is that? It doesn't exist. Think of the problems and issues we could solve in healthcare if we could develop just this characteristic, uh, this character trait of being compassionate as in ourselves and in our companies and in our industry. It would totally change the game. I had a glorious conversation yesterday with um, a former patient uh, and friend who reminded me that um, really what we all have, and, and today right now there's a lot of there's just a lot of ugliness out there. However, as ugly as there as ugly as there is out there, there's every bit as much beautiful, good, noble, kind, honest, compassionate. And in our own circles of influence, everybody has a circle of influence. In our own circle of influence, we can develop this ourselves, and that has a ripple effect outward. That's my hope for you uh, this week, this holiday season, and in the hereafter, is that we all can really think about how can I be more compassionate with myself and with others? What do I need to do differently? What's the next right thing? This is a busy season, and a lot of us have deadlines, goals. Compassion means that we're not slacking, right? Compassion means we're honest with ourselves and with our employers. One of our Reiki principles is that we're going to work with integrity. That's super important. That means Q4 isn't up. We're not taking our foot off the pedal. We're bringing our all. That always feels good 
to yourself. It benefits your employer. It benefits the people that you serve. And if you find that you're involved in an entity that does not hold that ideals or that is not honest, it may behoove you to look elsewhere, right? It's really hard. You cannot be one person in public and be another person in private, right? The characteristics that you want to develop to be a public success, you're first going to develop in yourself. And I would venture to say, and I would, I would propose to you that the cornerstone in terms of personal develop, development and your professional success is going to be inherent um, that you develop this quality of compassion. It will build everything else uh, onto itself. That's my hope for you. I hope that you have a wonderful holiday season and a fabulous week. Bye, friends.